today I'll be showing an extremely easy option strategy that you can do for a stock that you are bullish on. So for this example, I'll be showing you on Ford Motor. Let's go look at Ford here. <clears throat> Let's say that some good news came out about Ford around right here, and so it's currently starting to rally up, and I believe that it's going to rally up even farther. So this is an example where I would use this strategy on. This is just an example. I would not copy this trade exactly, but let me show you. So we're going to come over here to trade Ford options. First thing we should going to want to going to want to do is you're going to want to pick your stock, and then for this example, we will be selling. So we're going to come over here to the Nasdaq.com, and you're going to enter the stock that you chose. You know, the ticker symbol right there. You're going to come over here. You're going to click on dividend history. So once you have the dividend pop up, we're going to look for the ex dividend date. Um, so let's look right here. So come over right here to the Nasdaq.com. We're going to look at the dividend date. So as we can see, the last dividend was um, in January of 2020. I'm filming this on August 28th of 2021. So it's been a while and X7 dates is not available. So we're good on that part. So we'll come back here. So for this, what we're going to do first is we're going to sell a put. Let's see. So come down here to the share price. And we're going to sell a put first. All right, first step that we're going to do is we're going to sell a put. For this example, I'll just be showing you right here. So we're going to move up about a little over a dollar, dollar and 20 cents. It's so going to sell a put, and you're going to go up one, and you're going to sell a call right there at the $15 point, and you're going to go up one again, so 15 and a half, and then we're going to buy a call. So it should look like this, and this is called the Jade Lizard. Um, it won't tell you up here because it's a little more complicated than just some of the basic option strategies. But this is exactly what it should look like. And so since we're selling stuff, that's why we came over here to the NASDAQ and checked for the X dividend date. Because any time that you sell in a part of an option close to a dividend date, there is risk of assignment. And that is definitely not something that we want to deal with. So if you look over here, you can see that this is definitely a strategy that you definitely want to deal on a bullish stock. Because as you can see, if the stock starts to drop, let's see, so 1327. So 1227 pretty close so if you if it goes down a dollar in this example we'll lose about a hundred dollars so you definitely want to do this on a stock that you think will rise but as it keeps rising the profit is pretty pretty good considering let's see so it's at 1327 let's say 1427 uh it's pretty close we'll get about a hundred dollars so just the same as is if it goes down a dollar we lose about a hundred and if it goes up a dollar then we gain a hundred and then so you it'll cap out at 123 they will start to fall off a little bit and then it'll cap off at 73, but I doubt it'll go that far. And, um, oh, we chose our dividend date a week away. And it'll always, it should always set the dividend date, or the um, expiration date, sorry. It should always set the expiration date the closest one it could be. And for this example, this stock has an expiration date every single week. So like I said, this is on August 28th, so this is about six days away from now. Um, and so all that has to happen is just for the stock to rise a little bit. It can drop a little bit and then rise even more. It'll still be in the profit area. So if, um, let's go over here and to option strat so we can visualize this a little better. So come over here to build. You're going to come down here to the bottom right portion. You're going to click on Jade Lizard. So enter the ticker symbol of the stock you chose. We chose Ford Motors. We're going to put F. First things first, choose the expiration date. We chose September 3rd. And all we're going to do is copy this chart right here onto options, options strat. So let's go from top to bottom. So we did a $14.5 put that we sold. The sells are on the bottom and buys are on the top, so sold. And P for put, so $14.5. And then we sold a $15 call. C for call, $15. And then we bought a $15.5 call. Buying is up top, so $15.5 call. So there it is. So as you can see, this is obviously a bullish strategy. Your net credit is $123. So it'll give you $123 to put this option into place. And let's say it's sitting at $13.32 in expiration. Then they're going to take about $118 back. So you'll gain $5 overall. Um, but as you can see, if it drops, you see the prices. It'll show you on OptionStrat, shows you day-by-day -day results and where the price has to be. This is why I really like OptionStrat. And you can widen the um, the prices. You can add implied volatility. See what that'll do to it. But for this, I'll just reset it. 
So this is exactly what it'll look like when you pull it up on option strat. And so if we come over here, we would, <clears throat> let's say we like what we see, we want to put this into place. So you'd come over here to click on continue, you click review order, and then you would need to put up some collateral with this. So that is a problem with the option. You will have to put up some collateral because there is risk of assignment because we are selling. So we have to put up collateral to pay for the stocks if we have assignment, which is what we avoided though, because we looked up the dividend date. But since you are selling stocks, you have to put up collateral. And so that's how this stock works. It's pretty it's pretty easy. Um, just come over here and uh, I'll try to walk you through it. If you're confused, Jade Lizard, it'll even teach you. Um, if I can hover over the proper one. Keep switching. But just hover over which one you want and it'll teach you in this portion exactly how to set it up. If you're a little confused from what I showed you. But all you have to do is I'll just go do it again. Just cross these out. It's pretty easy. So sell a put. Maybe a dollar above where you the share price is currently. Sell a put, move up one. Sell a call, move up one again, buy a call. It should look just like that. So as always, you can always check out my channel for other option strategies. I have plenty of videos on there. And also, if you have any questions, comment them down below and I'll be sure to answer them all. But this is option strategy or options trading, so I would um look up all the risks behind it. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video or have any questions, like I said, comment them down below and I'll be sure to answer them all. And yeah, thank you for watching.